been playing guitar for a long, long time and I'm able to uh, play the basic chords pretty easily. Uh, time and time again, um, there are some devices out there to help young guitar players. Also, players that may be a little bit older and maybe they have some arthritis or have some problems uh, with their fingers, their hands, uh, to help them play, continue to play guitar or help them to learn how to play guitar. So, I have here a, one of these devices. It's an easy fret um, guitar. Uh, for the guitar, and what it is, it's basically this device right here, and as you can see, it has basically little buttons that you press down, and what's going to happen is that it's going to replace my fingertips, these um, little buttons here. And so, one of the biggest problems when I teach guitar, especially to, to um, younger uh, students is uh, it takes a while for your fingers to get a callus and, and, and it takes a while for your fingers not to hurt and I usually, usually suggest them using a classic guitar first and because it's got nylon strings, the strings are wider and they don't uh, bite into your fingertips as much. Uh, electric guitar strings are typically a little bit thinner and they don't quite hurt as much as a, a traditional acoustic guitar. So on this one here um, you can see how it's, it's placed onto um, the fretboard and I have it on the first position here. And so, so right there, there's an easy uh, C chord. It comes with a chart of the 15 basic chords. And honestly, with this chart here, you can play through almost any folk songs for the most part, you can play through as well. So um, you don't have to hold like this. It actually comes with some uh, rubber bands and uh, I just, I, you know, if you break these rubber bands, or just a typical rubber band. So let's talk a little bit about how to put this device on uh, your guitar. Initially, I'll, just, I'll take it off for right now with the rubber bands. One of the first things you need to do uh, with this easy fret is to make sure the guitar, um, that it fits your guitar correctly. And so, um, what I do is this, on this particular acoustic guitar, I get these two little pegs behind basically the third, uh, right in front of the third fret onto the fourth fret. And this one here, I put right there against the nut of the, on the first fret there. And I, I'll try out a couple chords before I even put the rubber band down on it. Just make sure it's pressing down right. And you, might have, and you can move it around a little bit more. And temporarily, you can put the rubber band on just uh, you know, like, like this on there once um, but it's not going to be it's not going to be tight enough so let me show you the technique of uh, getting this on here where it actually stays on pretty tight and what you do is you, um, you know, to adjust it make sure you, there's not any buzzing sounds and if there, are there, if there is on this side you lift this side up if it's on this side here you lift this side up and you kind of adjust it until you get to a place that um, you're happy with. Let me show you the technique of getting this uh, a little bit tighter. Um, you take off uh, the, well, this left side and you come around. It says, it says press down about 10 inches and then you come around and then you go back up here and that makes it a lot tighter. So let me do it again on this side over here. I stretch down, I come around on this right angle right there, and then I pull up right here, and there you go, and, and it's on there. And uh, let's see, am I, I, I can still make some adjustments. You can see I can, I can still move it around a little bit, make some adjustments if I need to. So let's try a couple chords. So the G chord, sounds pretty good. And let's hear the C chord, that sounds pretty good. And the D chord, so in the key of G, this is actually working all right. So. Okay. So let's see. I'll show you the fingering. Just set in there. D. And I go to G7. Go to C. So once you get used to this, uh, I, I feel that 
especially if you get uh, problems with your fingers pressing down on on the guitar um, you can get pretty comfortable with this and um, you know I, I haven't done this but I, I think you could put more more bands on here if you wanted to, to not move as much as well so uh, that's how I put on the easy uh, fret on my guitar so uh, let's see if I can play uh, some chord progressions <laughs> on it as well. E minor, A minor. So once you get uh, comfortable with this, I think you can play a lot of really great music. And you can use a one, four, and five, seven chords, but you can also throw a two and a six in there as well. Or uh, And there's a ton of songs you can play with those chord progressions as well. So. I recommend this device, especially if you're uh, new at playing guitar and you have problems with your hands. Um, if you're if you're younger and you haven't quite got the uh, the strength to press down on on, on strings, as, as another thing as well. Uh, and I kind of feel that if you play guitar for a while and at some point, hey, you just, your fingers just aren't quite working as well as they used to, this this device can get you playing guitar again. And again, the shapes are, are familiar enough. I mean, that's a that's a G guitar shape there. You, if you've playing, been playing guitar before, you can see that's basically a C shape there. If you leave up this G here, that's, if I play like this, I mean, it looks like the C chord. You know, the, the D chord looks really close. So it's 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 not so out there. You know, when you're playing chords um, for this device. So that's the easy. Uh, fret guitar device um, and it's available and it's economical and uh, try it out and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you so much everybody. Rock and roll.